Here's a practice test on inverse of the relation. The question is, determine the inverse relation for each set of ordered pairs. Write domain and range for the inverse. Which of the relations and inverse relations are functions? So there are three parts to it and you need to do all the three for these four questions, right? So first, second and third. The first one is you need to find inverse of these relations. Second, write down domain range for the inverse only. And third, which of the relations and inverses are functions, right? So that is what you need to do. Now, in short, I can tell you one of them. And let's say if you are given ordered pairs, then let's say this is your function, right? Now, to find inverse of this function, what do we do? We, we will just swap x and y and we can write this as 3 minus 5 and this will become 2 minus 3 and this will be 6 minus 1 0 0 these points are invariant points they are same on function as well as in inverse right and then you get a set which is represents the inverse of the given function right now we need to find really whether the given so here domains are you know the first values are the domain so this becomes a domain and the range will be the y values how to figure out whether they are functions or not so if any x value repeats then that means it is not a function right it repeats and it has a different value for y right so here all the values are different so this one is a function now here if you see we have 3, 2, 6, 0, minus 5, all are different, and therefore it is also a function, right? Now, as you remember, to test for function or inverse to be a function, we have vertical line test and horizontal line test. So, whether the given ordered pair is a function or not, just check the x values. If the x values repeat, then it is not a function. For example, here, minus 2 minus 2 therefore this is not a function to figure out whether its inverse will be a function or not check the y values if y values repeat that means they fail horizontal line test right so these are the y values which are repeating right so when you write inverse of this so if i write inverse of this you get 2 minus 3 and here you get 2 and 1 so inverse is not a function so to test, you can check x values to figure out whether the given relation is a function or not and to find out whether its inverse will be a relation, will be a function or not, check the y values, right? So that is how you need to do this question. I hope you understand. Thank you.